Hello my soccer universe, I gotta say this week is really stressful, not only coming back to uh, working life, but also the way this week pans out with a lot of midweek fixtures, a lot of cup rounds. We have two continental tournaments kicking off where I have to shoot uh, previews. And then I just realized that the Premier League is going on their semi-winter break next weekend and the weekend thereafter where it doesn't make much sense to make a video, uh, video about England. And we just had the League Cup round and the FA Cup round, so... I guess this is not a good time to make a video f about the Premier League. However, uh, the posting time of this video will not be a great time. But hey, so be it, the show must go on. The show must go on, we'll need to talk about England. I don't expect this to be a huge video. Um, just ahead of the video, I think, since I did the last video, just on Christmas Day, uh, there were two developments. I mean, this Christmas break for me is always a make or break time for uh, teams. And I think this Christmas break knocked Arsenal out of the title race. They had a horrible run. They just got the draw at Anfield. But before that, they were losing and losing at home, luckily to West Ham. Losing really badly at Fulham. Out of the FA Cup already. Um, it's not looking good for Arsenal. It's really good that they have a week uh, break coming up this weekend to maybe a little bit get away from this funk. Yes, many say it's just goal scoring, but you know, uh, this can very quickly snowball into something really, really bad. So this uh, break might come at the right time. On the flip side, the team that, that I'm wearing is bound and well on track for four titles still. Yes, Premier League is still Manchester City, but Liverpool are currently leading the league with three points. And yes, City have a game in hand and that would mean only two points if they should win that one. They will win this one, most likely. But it's two points ahead and looking relatively good. I mean, uh, Jürgen Klopp really has revamped his squad. And what amazes me about Liverpool is not the way they are playing. This is uh, Liverpool way, but even if they're playing not so good, they're getting their results, which is usually a good thing. They have knocked Arsenal out of the FA Cup. They um, are in the League Cup very well positioned to go into the, to the final, where whoever they will face, they will be the favourites. Probably they have the hardest task now in the semi-final with Fulham. And they have also the Europa League where they're the top favourites. Yes, a lot of things can happen and maybe they will not um, prioritise it that much. But at the moment, if you're a Liverpool fan, the only thing that you can be annoyed about is that, yes, you probably should have gotten the win against Arsenal at home, which we talked, talked, talked about. I mean, there could have been a few more results going your way and you would have a clearer lead. This way, Manchester City is very much still in touching distance. But, you know, at the moment, and we'll see that later, it's a one-third shot that you win the Premier League. And that's not so bad. And you're going back to the Champions League. That much seems to be secure as well. As for our Arsenal, you have to look a little bit on, on the back. You need to hope that teams are doing well in Europe. So that maybe you get a fifth uh, spot and you have a big chance in the Champions League. I think our Arsenal's biggest chance for a title is the Champions League. Where I actually think if they can get over the funk, they can be dangerous, but don't want to get ahead of myself. However, before we go back into the league, this was just the, for me, the two main stories. And note, I haven't mentioned City that much, and maybe I should mention them because they're lurking in the background. A fake up, go ahead, an easy tie. It will be difficult in the annex round, we'll talk about in a second, but in the league, they are in a position as well in the champion in terms of they're probably the easiest draw of them all. So, you know, City also can make another travel. That's very, very much in there, but Liverpool is still in for the quadruple. So this is for me the two biggest takeaways. And yes, Chelsea had a good uh, run in the league and looked absolutely horrific in all the other <laughs> competitions, but that's also beside itself. As I said, I want to start in the FA Cup here. Just a few matches that I um, pulled out. These are teams for the best teams from Premier League from last season. And on uh, most of these matches, I also saw the highlights. If I didn't even see them live. Um, you know, the, the first four, uh, we have uh, replays uh, between, between Palace and Everton and Brentford and Wolves. Fulham just squeak by Rodham. They had their eyes more on the League Cup. Spurs, not a good performance for once. However, Pedro Porro scores a wonder goal. I really thought Sunderland against New Newcastle would be an exciting game. It was not. It was also a really bad, bad watch. It was a bad jersey match. It's all down to the Sunderland jerseys who had white shoulders. If that jersey has red shoulders, 
I think this might look actually right, and I like that these teams are playing both of the first team colors. But yeah, Newcastle was an on goal and Isaac scoring two. It was actually almost non contest. Stoke City against Brighton was way more entertaining, but in the end, Brighton prevailed. Villa scored very late to get through uh, to middle uh, against Middlesbrough, whereas um, Manchester City had no problem with Huddersfield. Kevin De Bruyne is back with a little bit longer hair. He might grow it out even more. Maybe he doesn't need to go as far as I did. Then Arsenal Liverpool, uh, due to the Arsenal playing in all white because of the uh, no more red campaign, it looked a little bit uh, weird jersey wise. But it was one of those games where Arsenal at the half needs to actually lead and maybe even by one or two goals. Liverpool uh, had the first chance through Alexander Arnold who hit the crossbar, I think. But most chances fell definitely Arsenal's when finishing let them down. But the longer the game went on, Liverpool made the right adjustments in the second half. Uh, and then were, towards the end, even the more dangerous team scored actually quite uh, two nice goals. Arsenal could not equalize. And then um, Manchester United 2-0 at Wigan. So, to finish up with the FA Cup, we have a bunch of replays scheduled for the next week. They will be tu played Tuesday and Wednesday. I, you see it in mean, Wolf's brand for this uh, um, Premier League duel, as it Everton against Crystal Palace. And then we already see here some selected fixtures due to the replays. It's not quite uh, re ready, but we have a few big name matches with Chelsea against Aston Villa. I think that's a definitely an interesting one. We have Spurs against City. The only ground that City have yet to score is Spurs, so that will be an interesting one. And But we also had easy draws for Liverpool and honestly United. Fulham against Newcastle United I think will be an overlooked one. And we have also Sheffield against Brighton, another Premier League matchup. Then let's go into uh, the League Cup, <laughs> which just happened Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's the, the, the most recent one. Chelsea just don't look good. Yes, they had chances. Yes, they had chances. But Middlesbrough with uh, one good chance scored and actually looked good for doing so. So uh, Chelsea go with a deficit in the replay match at Stamford Bridge. And the way they are doing, I can actually see Middlesbrough moving on there as well. Fulham also played quite well in the first half. Had a 1-0 halftime lead and with a little bit more uh, you know, good finishing and tight defending. Might have even made, made more, but then Liverpool, Liverpool second half turned, turned it on again and turned it around uh, through Jones and Gakbo, I think. Uh, and they are, of course, in a good position. Both uh, semi-final return legs will be played in uh, West, West London, so let's see where this will go. I still think that Liverpool are the big favourites, although Fulham well, might give them a run for their money. And yeah. This is also the last time we have a two-legged affair in the League Cup. So, with that, all the cup rounds done. Let's talk Premier League a teeny bit. Uh, just the highlights from uh, the in-between Christmas and New Year round. Uh, I think the bigger was United coming back from a 2-0 deficit against Villa. That was a huge win. Liverpool uh, need to uh, waste many chances at, at Burnley, then almost uh, concede an equalizer. We had Chelsea getting a win at Crick against Crickers Palace. City were 1-0 down against Everton, but came back you know, wearing the World Cup winners patch, which seemingly is coming off. Uh, we had also Brighton getting a rather uh, impressive 4-2 win over Spurs. That was a 4-0. Uh, this was not uh, as close as, as it seems, although I thought in the first half Spurs were at times a little bit unlucky. And Arsenal, despite having many chances, West Ham hitting early, was the ball out? Maybe not. And then he hitting it late and Arsenal again don't scoring their chances. It was a major, major dent. I think the performance for Arsenal was alright, but uh, West Ham, this was a brilliant performance from them, being defensively stout and stealing the three points at the Emirates. And then the uh, New Year's uh, round, if you will, 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 would like. Uh, Aston Villa bounced back with a really crazy win, 3-2 against Burnley. There was also Luton against Chelsea, which was also... Um, a rather uh, entertaining game, let's put it, should never have been that when uh, Chelsea had 3 0 lead, but Luton almost stormed back. Uh, Wolves in really good form, and Everton, after their verdict being on a good run, now they're on a bad, bad run. I'm worried a little bit about Everton. And Forest win it late against United, and actually were good for, for that. United also really, really bad, and really, really bad was also what Arsenal showed uh, against Fulham. 
at Craven Cottage. Yes, they had a one lead, but Fuller was all worth it for the 2 1 win. And at the same time, Spurs actually bounced back with a 3 1 over Bournemouth. Liverpool then, uh, with probably the highest XG that the Premier League has ever seen, beat Newcastle 4 2. This should have been 8 2, 9 2, the way they were playing. It was really, really, really impressive stuff on New Year's Day and West Ham a 0 0 against Brighton. And so, in the current standings, uh, we already said it early on Liverpool now with the lead ahead of Aston Villa. Um, Aston Villa is a little bit deceiving because I think they have peaked in, in a way. I don't see them going further, although I would not mind or I would love to see them push on further for, for a title. But you see already enough chances for the championship that it's City and Liverpool and Villa and Arsenal only outside chances. Spurs are more or less out of it as well. And uh, we also see this reflected in the expected standings more or less. The next round in the Premier League, we saw a lot of FA Cup, blah, blah, blah. Next round is split onto over two weekends. As I said, there's a semi half um, break. We have Chelsea Fulham. Potential preview of a League Cup final. I don't think it will be a League Cup final. Newcastle United against Manchester City. I think it's an in, in, interesting one. Everton definitely need to bounce back, but Avila also need the points. And then uh, United against Spurs. I think those are really, really good games that are com coming up. And then we talk about late, later on. I think the second uh, uh, set of fixtures, Arsenal against Palace is another um, trap game. Uh, we have Liverpool. Bournemouth, there was something last, last season, Salah missing a penalty and Brighton Wolves, yeah. We'll see. I uh, probably will do the next video after the next FA Cup round, as far as I can see it going, but I have not really scheduled it now. I think the Continental Tournaments will take a little bit of a uh, priority over the others. In any case, please let me know what you think is going on in England. Do you agree with me on the situation? For the league and for all the cups that Liverpool are actually really good and Arsenal are more or less out, out of it. Sad as is, I really would have liked a three-way title race. Drop the comments below. In any case, I will talk to you soon about more in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.